I ran away. It was just me just thinking back. I ran away. I went through all of this for this. Mm-hmm. Like, are you serious? Like, I'm this. I was disappointed in myself. Like, I wanted to give up. I'm like, nah. But then I got little sisters to fight for. I'm like, damn. I bring y'all with me. I can't just end it like yeah. that. I can't. It's, that's the start. Um, How old are you? Nineteen. Mm. What's your energy like right now? Um, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Why you can't stop smiling? <laughs> uh, I'm just happy. I'm at a better headspace. Better headspace. Mm-hmm. Better headspace means you coming from a worse headspace. Yeah. <laughs> so, what if I was to tell you, at 19, you ain't been through nothing. What if, what if I was to tell you that? How you like hearing that? I mean, I mean, I have been through something, so it's not a fact. Like you saying that is not a fact. So it's like. <laughs> but how do I feel when people tell you that that's older than you? I mean, I don't really, I don't feel no way, mm-hmm. honestly. Cause like you don't know nothing. <laughs> yeah. You don't know me, so. Yeah. Mm. So as far back as you re- could remember. Cause I know you a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> little cousin. <laughs> when would you say life began lifing for you in the sense of like, oh, it's real. It ain't like just <laughs> bubbles and bubble gum and no, for real. jump rope and stuff. Um, life started lifing for me at 15 when I ran away from my mama. That's when I was like, cause with her, yeah, it was, it was hectic a little bit because she was going through what she was going through. But when I ran away, it was like, damn, this is crazy. Like, I got to do for my own. I got to do for my sisters. I didn't have to do this at first. Like, it was just a lot hitting at once. So before we get there, there had to be a build up to you running away, right? Did that just happen in one year, like from 14 <laughs> to 15 or um, in the 15 years? Um, it was build up. It was just constantly being on punishment, constantly getting in trouble, having to take the blame for everything. Um, I feel like I couldn't be myself with my mama. I feel like I couldn't talk to her. She wasn't my, at the time, she wasn't my safe place. Um, I felt neglected, judged. I just was like, so just being feeling out of place and then being on punishment constantly and then feeling like I got a lot just so I won't get in trouble. It was just like, yeah, I got I to gotta go. The lot. Is it, <laughs> it the lie so you don't get in trouble because the lie sounds more believable than yeah. the truth sometimes? <laughs> what is like if I told the truth, <laughs> it was still like I don't know. I feel like the lie was gonna get me out of trouble, so I'm like I'm gonna lie to you, then you can find out later. Type. See, dudes be like <laughs> I I know from a dude's perspective, like we've been like that at times because it's like they're never gonna believe this truth. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna they're never gonna believe it. So I gotta make up a lie in order mm-hmm. for her to believe it. But mm-hmm. that's still trash. Yeah, that you is. gotta do some <laughs> stuff like that because that, like you said, that's a person not making it feel like it's a safe place exactly. to just be real. Or yeah. you said you were getting blamed for a lot of stuff that you want to do, but you were doing stuff to get in trouble too, right? Okay, uh, yeah. Hold on, let me take accountability. I was doing stuff, but I feel like that's what teenagers do. The stuff I was doing, the young woman, I was curious. Who who not curious? Everybody has been curious. So it was like, I don't know, I feel like I was walking on eggs yet. Was, I was thinking like, mama, you know you used to do this. Like, why am I getting in trouble for it type? So for me, for that whole reason, it was just like, I feel like I was just, I just was never ending. Like, yeah, I gotta go. What was that first thing you tried that it was like, I know I ain't supposed to do this? Um, <laughs> um, it was sending butt pics to boys. Yeah. I was like, I, but I was, ki- I wanted attention. That's what I was looking for. It was, was missing like, attention. Yes, I was missing that attention from my mama, my daddy. So it was like, damn, how can I get attention? Well, boys like this, so why not? So of course I'm going to send you a little you know and I got the attention that way it wasn't the best attention but at the time I liked it boys wasn't paying attention attention to you before the butt pit nah nah because I was homeschooled so when I finally got in high school Mm. yeah so when I finally got around people 
Oh, that's different. <laughs> it's like, you know, I didn't, and I was in punishment during high school. So my first approach wasn't like, who is that? No, it was like, why is she wearing a uniform? And this is, you know, we don't wear, it was like a weird approach. So, you know, they liked me because I sent them little booty pics and. What yeah. was the decision for you to go to finally go to high school? Like go into an actual public school? Um, honestly, I don't remember. Um, I just know I grew up being homeschooled. I was in and out of school, but my, I was mainly homeschooled. And then I think it probably was a discussion between me and my mama. Like, I'm ready to go to high school. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm bored by myself. I'm re- like, it's just, I'm by myself. I don't got nothing to do. So, yeah, she enrolled me into Paseo. Paseo, <laughs> School of the Arts. <laughs> yeah. What was that first? Can you remember, like, the, the car ride, the first day, just getting ready for that? Like, because... To never have been to school and then about to go in and high school being your first, yeah. that's different. For a kid, yeah. I, I hate to compare it to like <laughs> the bus ride to prison or whatever because it ain't that. But it's yeah. like the the anxiousness and the, you know, kind of scariness too or what not to, ex- you don't know what to expect. So what is that like? Can you remember? Um, I do remember. I was very at home. I was hype. I'm taking pictures. I'm lit. I'm gonna be the the litest one. But then it's like the car right there. I'm quiet. I'm like, hold on, we getting closer to the school. <laughs> like, who what they gonna think of me? Like, it was just a lot going through my head. I mean, um, when I got there, it was easy for me to make friends. The little weirdos in the back. We was we was clicking. But um, I still feel out of place. I mean, I'm, I'm a new girl. Y'all know each other. I don't know y'all. Y'all don't know me. So, yeah. I did click with a couple weirdos in a good way. Um, yeah. But that was really it. And then I feel like probably like a month, you know, a month after me going to Paseo, then it was like, okay, I fit in. I, I got my major. Everybody's clicking with me. The personality hit. So it was better after a month. But Mm -hmm. like before that month, it was just weird. It was awkward. (laughs) So no interaction with boys before then, for real? Mm Mm-mm. No. Did you know what a boy looked like? (laughs) (laughs) Besides us? (laughs) I knew. I mean, it was some fun boys that was there when I first, you know, finally seeing boys in person. I'm like, ooh, like this is my chance. But, I mean, I didn't get that attention. Like, you will see the girls with the new shoes and the uh-huh. hair done. You will see them getting all the attention. And me, I'm just the one in the back, like, the little weird little girl just sitting back there. Just, yeah. So, was you on social media before then? Um, I was making, like, dub smashes and stuff and stuff like that. But I wasn't known, like, yeah. it wasn't, like, big how I, I'm known now. It wasn't like that before. Big. And when I was on like Snapchat and stuff, I mean, when I started getting boys Snapchats and stuff, they were just like referring to sexual stuff. So I'm like, okay, I want your attention. I'm gonna send you a booty pic. So did your Snapchat come before, before, um, before, what was I trying to say? Did Snapchat come before high school or after you were in high school? After. Okay, so I'm trying to get to how we got to the point where you started mm-hmm. sending the butt pics. Wow, well, and because yeah. you didn't have the shoes, you didn't have the clothes. <laughs> you were obviously pretty, yeah, but you probably was dusty face. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Walking around with your yeah. mama ain't that, so I don't know how you would be that. No, it's not even dusty. It was just like the style that's mm-hmm. in. Everybody got Jordans. There, I didn't have all that. So the boys at Paseo, they gonna go for the girls who got the wigs on and like who got who move fast and older than we actually are. So I wasn't that. I was just like I got my little my little church shoes on, my little. So they not coming for me. I'm pretty, yeah. but they fast. They was fast. And you didn't have no sense of style then either. No, then. I didn't. <laughs> so uh. I, was just, I was just thinking I'm putting it on. And I just threw some clothes on, went to school. And yeah. You remember how you started getting it together though? Like looking at like was you looking at different people and piecing your stuff together, your style? Um uh that that was a part of it. Um, but I finally made a friend group. Um, met my old bestie and stuff like that. So me hanging with this friend group after a month and just who they know, now they know me because I'm hanging with them. Um, I definitely was being recognized way more. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Then been in theater. 
you know, acting out and stuff, it was everybody like, oh, okay, who is this? Mm-hmm. Finally getting attention. So, yeah, as like, by like 10, by the end of ninth grade, going to 10th grade, I was, I was that girl. I was still dressing a little weird, but I was that girl for sure. Was the butt pics before 10th grade <laughs> or in, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> at the end of ninth grade? Um, ninth grade. Ninth grade, yeah. Because I was getting in trouble a lot. Yeah, I was getting, it was ninth grade. Probably, yeah, it was ninth grade. Snapchat, I'm not sure how it works. Because I ain't, that's <laughs> one I ain't downloaded. I just don't feel like it. But how do you know this is what people like? Because I could see on Instagram, from what people show me, Snapchat is nothing like Instagram. Mm-hmm. But, but I could see on Instagram that, okay. 300,000 people like this butt pic. But <laughs> when she don't post a butt pic, it's like 10,000 yeah, likes or whatever. Tight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So how did you how did you look at that and be like, this is this is the plan. This is what I got to do. Um, Honestly, it was just how we were conversating. How the boys would approach got me. It. it was how the conversation was. It was me sending them pictures individually, them sending something back to me. Mm-hmm. That's how it worked. It mm-hmm. wasn't, you know, you know, at the time I knew what they liked. I'm like, obviously they like this. So that's how I really went for real, for real. Just us talking nasty through tags yeah. <laughs> and sending stuff back and forth. Were you confident in your body at that time? Nah. Sure. So me, like, like me getting that attention, me knowing that you like my little butt. Oh, I'm hype. Like that's going to turn me up. Like yeah. that's going to make me want to do it more. Knowing I'm not supposed to, but I want this attention so bad. So keep hyping me up. I'm going to keep sending you. You know, that's how it was for me. So you kind of le- on the level of a PK. Like, they, <laughs> when they don't experience things, when they finally get to get out a little bit, they start going crazy. Like I was they, one of them. They, they dip Ooh. into everything. Goodness. Yeah. So the yeah. when did it start feeling like, all right, this ain't what I thought it was, you know what I'm saying? When you start realizing you're better than just sending a butt pic to any random dude or, I don't know if it was random dudes or just like. It was dudes from my school. Yeah. Um, At like 17, 17, maybe 18. Senior year? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, so nah, this ain't it. Like, I don't know, just learning more um, and just not wanting to, I don't want to be one of them girls to where dudes can just be like, I got somebody for you. And I'm that girl, like, that's just not. Um, I definitely learned how to love myself more because I didn't love myself. Mm. I wanted you to love me because I don't. Mm. <laughs> like, you know, so um, it was like senior year. I got my stuff together. I was still a little insecure, but it was at the same time, it was like, I know I'm not for the you dope booty pic to feel validated. Yeah. Like, you know, take me on a date. It was that type. Was your name floating like crazy? Yeah. Yeah. They love me at Pasea, for sure. Was it? It couldn't have been all good. <laughs> I mean, uh, senior year, I had a fight. I mean, of course, you have the girls who hate. Um, mm. uh, drama. I mean, I don't really. I was just floating. Then by that time, my little sisters was in Pasea. My cousins was in Pasea. Mm-hmm. So I got family in this one. We turned. I mean, it was like, I think 11th grade, 10, at the end of 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, it was good. Like high school was fire for me. Just wanted to get a feel out of why you ran away though. I mean, I was getting attention in school. Me running away was because of I wanted that attention. I wanted that love for my mom. Fuck school. (laughs) Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck everything else. I want my mama to love me. I don't want my mama, I don't want to feel like I can't go to my mama about this lifestyle. I don't want to be depressed and my mama in the next room. And I'm depressed because of her. I don't want to, like, it was my mom. I wanted that love, unconditional love from my mama. Like, so the fact that I couldn't get it at the time, or she didn't know how to give it because she was going through her traumatic stuff, was like, damn. Like, yeah, school was cool, but at home, it's not. <laughs> what type of stuff did you need to go to her about, though? Like, problems at school? Or if there like was, trying yeah. To, yeah. But the type of environment it was, um, it was like, um, I remember one time, uh, her baby daddy was sitting at the table, and um, I had leggings on, and she was like, 
skinny girls don't look right in leggings. Mm -hmm. So it was just certain stuff she was saying to where it was like, it was, I don't know. It was just certain stuff she would say to where it wouldn't feel like I could come to her. Like, you're not my safe place, you know? You just, it's weird, you know? Um, I was also taking the bus to school, to, you know? So it was just like, my mama had a car, but I got to take the bus to school. It was just, it was a home thing. So, yeah. Where'd you start? You started talking to friends at school and they started leading you in a yeah. different path. Yeah. Were they some of them going through the same things too? Um, yeah, my bestie was. She was probably going, nah. I don't know. I feel like I was just going through it all. I feel like everybody's life was better than mine. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about your father? Why you didn't talk to your father about the thing? Um, at the time, okay, I ran away at 15. I went over to my, my sister's dad's side of the family. I ran to them. At the time, I'm thinking, you know, that's my dad. So, of course, I'm looking for this love and attention. Y'all saying y'all can give it to me. Everything's built up. I'm going to go to y'all because that's what y'all saying y'all can give to me. Y'all making it sound so good. Um, went to them. Um, yeah, after I ran away, that's when everything hit the fan, honestly. Um, school was still dope, of course. Like, I'm not, you know, that was my distraction, school. I'm going to go to school to get away from all of this. Um, but, yeah. What did that decision to run away look like, though, like, on that day? Like, uh, on that, okay, so I was just constantly getting put on punishment. And I was just, like, so over it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, how many more times she going to punish me? Like, it's, it's, like, getting annoying. Um, I was just fed up. And so that day it was parent-teacher conference. And um, she went to the school. Me and my, it was me, Brooke, my little sisters. And so she was texting me. Uh, mind you, before the parent-teacher conference, I think she was, like, I was on punishment already. She gave me my phone back just so she can text me for parent-teacher conferences. So during that, she was texting me, just letting me know what my teachers were saying. And then I think I had an F in gym. I'm not big on gym. I'm a girl. I just want to look cute and sit mm -hmm. down. I had an F in gym. And so she was telling me how um, pretty much, you know, um, I got an F in gym. And when she get home, that's my ass. Why did you? At the time, I thought I knew my mom was so I'm like, she's saying that's my ass. I'm about to get in trouble again. I'm already on punishment. Shit, like... And so I, that was my that was my my the line it just drew the line there like you know mm -mm, she's not gonna get me I'm sorry, and then um, I started panicking I started crying I'm like oh shit oh shit I'm gonna get in trouble I'm gonna get in trouble so I started packing my bag um, my little sisters they just like wonder I'm like y'all finna run away I can't get in trouble I'm panicking I'm like y'all can stay y'all can come with me um, then they decided to come with me we had packed our bags put them under the bed the we was going to wait till nighttime, but then I'm like, no, y'all, because I'm going to get in trouble. That's the point. I'm not trying to get in trouble. So um, I t we was all being, all three of us, we was the lookout. We each take turn looking out the window, waiting to see when her car was going to pull up. She said she was on her way. I stopped sharing my location. Like, this is just adrenaline at this point. It was like, mm -hmm. are we really finna run? Like, am I really finna go? I was so, I was contemplating. We had our shoes on and everything. So it was finally my turn. We we cleaned the house and everything, made sure my little sister was fed. She okay, it's my turn to look out the window. And I see a car coming down the street, but the sun hit it, so I'm not thinking that's her. But when it pulled into that driveway, oh my damn, like I was my heart jumped. They like fell in my ass. Like I was so scared. Um then I started screaming, then we ran out the back door and we started hopping fences. It was snowy. We didn't have no coats or nothing. Like, we just had our shoes on and clothes. We didn't even get the bags we packed. We was out of there. Like, right. hopping fences. We got scratches and stuff. And then um, my little sister, they was young. They was young experiencing this. Like um, 12? They what, was, how, how much younger than you are? I was probably like, I was 15. They was young, probably like 12. Yeah. So they was really young. And it was just hopping over fences. It's cold. It's snow on the ground. Freezing outside. It was, yes. And then um, we ended up hiding behind the house. But I'm like, at this time, when we was hiding behind the house, my mama texted me, where y'all at? I'm scared. I'm like, oh, shit, oh, shit, y'all, she probably finna come find us. Come on, we got to keep going. So I'm motivating them. They got a breath. I'm like, this is too much. But y'all, I'm like, 
I, we got to go. So we end up, uh, our final destination, we end up hiding in a cemetery. And um, at that time, I think my mama was like scoping the block. She was like, she was calling me. She like, where the hell y'all go? Like, I come home, ain't nobody here but brought the little baby. And um, from that point, I called the police. Um, I called my sister's dad and stuff. Um, he ended up pulling up. The police pulled up. And then another, um, somebody else in their family pulled up too. And we just ended up going with our dad. Hey, yeah. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. It was like a movie. <laughs> do, do you understand how she was probably feeling in that moment? Yeah. But I was also considering, like, how I felt yeah. and how my I feel like my feelings was getting avoided this whole time. So I yeah. had to, I want to go where I'm hurt. I want to go where I'm loved at. Yeah. But to walk in the house and then only see your baby, not knowing how long your baby been there, yeah. even though y'all just ran out. Yeah. What y'all see? <laughs> but it do, yeah. To her, she don't know that. <laughs> She's probably like, what the fuck is going on mm -hmm. for sure? Yeah. And then when she, did she see the cops in, did she ever see the cops in your uh, um, sisters? I forgot how that went. I think the cops called her and told her where we was at. Yeah. But by the time she got there, we was with our, uh, we we left. Like, we was out the city and we was gone. Like, she probably was so confused, too. Like, like what the hell? Where, yeah. where did y'all go? The yeah. house is empty. <laughs> like, well, even confused on like, why would you run away yeah. at the time? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because to them, they don't know. Because, like I said before, when I heard my pop said he was on his way to whoop me one time, <laughs> I just told him the other day I prayed he was about to die. Oh, damn. so they don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> like we really be that scared as a as Wait, a kid. I was really that. So, Scared. Yeah. I was like, I'm taking a run for it. I'm done with this. I'm already on punishment. Yeah. What more are you finna do? Like, damn. Yeah. So you get what your you get what your um the reason why you keep saying your sister's father is because that was who you thought was your father. Yeah. Right? So you get with him, you go with uh go to his house or man, we in a trap house. It's these Abandoned looking apartments. It's like, man, what? Uh uh. Like, it's these abandoned looking apartments. It's a one bedroom. It's cots on the floor. It's a couch, beat up couch. I'm like, it's too late. Like, we already here. Like, I can't go back. Like, I was after that, I was just like, I can't go back, bro. My mama gonna cut my phone off. I'm like, fuck. We, yeah, y'all, we stuck here. And it was so shitty. Like, we didn't have no clothes. We didn't have nothing. On the first wait, on the first day she cut your phone off. Are you mm -hmm. telling me y'all went? When I ran away, and she did that quick. Like soon as we got to the little trap house, my phone was off. Yeah, <laughs> it was like yeah, give me that. Like so, I couldn't make no calls or nothing. It was just so terrible. Yeah. Uh. -uh. We were sleeping on cots. And this is where who you thought was your father took you. Yes, with his girlfriend and her two kids and her sister and her sister two kids. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was the state of your sisters at that point? Um. At the time, I feel like I don't know. I think they were still like shook enough. Like they, I don't think. I don't think they really wanted to leave, you know, and I didn't force them to leave, but it's like they see their big sister for the leave. Of course, they going to follow after me, um, which I should have took more consideration of, of course, because that's just trauma on them on my behalf, I feel like. But at the time, I feel like they were still shook up. I don't know. I don't know. We was we just knew we was in it together. We left together, so we got to stay in it together like we already here. So they definitely were shaken up, but we all was just like, mm -mm. we why we run away to this? Like it was that yeah. like what? <laughs> so that we definitely agreed upon that. Like uh, yeah, this is uh uh. We didn't like our daddy girlfriend already. The way she came, we were just like, mm mm. What did we do, y'all? <laughs> we can't go back. So did y'all ever? Yeah, at no point y'all was like, I'm talking about within that first day. Like, hey, maybe we should just. Go back, or you felt like 
this shit went too far. Mom's going to really. Yeah. Because I wanted to go back. I couldn't live like that. I had my own room, my own bed, yeah. food. Yeah. So we us running away thinking it's going to be some cool stuff. And we in a damn near looking abandoned trap. I was like, uh, why did we do this? Like, But I feel like I was too deep in it. Um, I couldn't go back. I yeah. couldn't go back. Like, So it wasn't mm-hmm. really a trap house. It just looked like a trap house. No, it was so shit. It wasn't in living condition. Okay, they wasn't trapping out of it or nothing. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> making sure because I'm just when trying I to When I think of trap house, I think uh, shitty. Like, Damn near abandoned. Yes, it looking. does. Yeah, that's definitely what yeah. it was. It was like. And when mm-hmm. you say how his girlfriend was acting. She was cool, but you could, you could tell she was only there for our daddy. She wasn't there for his daughter. She wasn't there. No, she was there to be nosy and for our daddy. Uh huh. So, yeah. How was her kid? Dad. It's her kid. Um. They around your age? Uh uh-uh. uh. They younger than us. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. They had to be confused about what was going mm-hmm. on. Too. Who these new kids? <laughs> yeah. Who these extra kids? Like it was definitely like. It was weird, but I mean, how it long, was already there. How long did y'all stay in the trap? <laughs> um, we stayed in there. I can't remember, but it was for it. It was for some months, if I'm not mistaken. We was in that mug for a minute, um, and then after that, um, ever since we left my mom, I always remember us staying with our aunties. Or mm-hmm. Never with the like. Mm-mm. We stayed with our auntie. Ever since. She was the one providing the roof. Even though she got her own kids, come stay with me because y'all got daddy ain't got no place. Yeah. Like, where else y'all gonna go? So, and we was scared to go back to our mama because we was just too deep in it. Like, mm. too deep in it. <laughs> so, at the time that you ran away, how long did it take for you to start going back to school? Um, If I'm not mistaken, I was... I was still going to school during that time. Um, I probably was missing a couple of days, but I definitely was still going to school. I was just wearing other people's clothes to school. That's where I was going to. <laughs> yeah. Sophomore. This is your sophomore year, too, mm-hmm. right? You already that girl, kind of. <laughs> yes, I got my friend group, man. It was so much. It was like. So when you say other people clothes, if those kids wasn't around your age in that household, what other people clothes? Like my cousin's clothes, yeah. And then if uh, if they was feeling generous, you know, they'll buy some clothes here and there. They got their own children, so this yeah. is just extra money out their pocket. They got to buy clothes, panties, shoes, panties. everything. Pads. <laughs> Literally. So, um, yeah, I was just thugging in my my um, sister's grandma's shoes. I'm like, hey, I can fit them. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to wear them to school. So, yeah, it's Crazy. And at a point you started living with your grandma or Um, no, I've always stayed me and my sisters, we always stayed with my auntie. Yeah. Literally. The g- grandma, she was staying with Auntie. Everybody was staying with Auntie. Um, yeah. Auntie always provided yeah. a roof over our heads. So It got to a point where you wanted to get your own spot though, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so after so, like, through this whole thing, me running away, um, going through the motions of being with that side, um, I noticed how they were judgmental. Um, I lost my virginity at 16. Um, at that time, Pops had a little crib for, like, a month. But I wasn't comfortable with telling him, mind you, I'm still looking for the attention. I'm noticing we ran away, and we still didn't get no attention. Why did we run? Like, come on, I'm looking for it, and you didn't give it to me. You know, so, um, yeah, I was, at that time, I was, it was way, it was way worse with boys. I lost, when I lost my virginity, mm-mm, I just needed to feel validated so bad. I was just fucking, like, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna like, thank you, because you really love me. That's why I'm fucking. You love me, too, because we don't. And so, it was weird, but it got to a point where I'm like, so now how long did you just, why are you fucking like? But then I had to realize it's for validation. I want to feel validated. Like, I haven't. I want to feel loved. I want attention. Like, pay attention to me. So I feel like that was, I my way 
a, a boy. I was justifying, yeah, this is your way of paying attention to me, showing me you fuck with me and stuff like that. And that wasn't it at all. <laughs> I mean, I got to give you a little credit because you waited a little longer than I thought you did because you said once you got to high school, you kind of got into that mode of like mm -hmm. sending butt pics and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, sixteen is still early, but like <laughs> from like I'm I'm taking myself to the mindset that you had and uh, how easily manipulated you could have been mm -hmm, back then. Sure, so yeah. for sixteen, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sixteen. That's when it, you know. <laughs> so when you say they're judgmental, what do you mean? Um, um, that's how I go by Christians. Um, they love this title Christian, so you can't cuss, you can't. Lose your virginity, you can't, you just can't, can't, can't with them. So when it came to me losing my virginity, I told the grandma, and at this time, I'm thinking she's my safe place. Um, I'm thinking okay. she done created this space for me to where I can come to her um, about anything. That's literally what I thought. Like, I could come to her about anything. She won't tell nobody. This is beautiful. Like, she put it on. She made you feel like she wouldn't tell nobody your business. But then it got to a certain point to where as I got older, as the months went by, I noticed um, family members was talking about me. And I'm like, wait. Like, it was the one incident. I told my, I told grandma, like, yeah, I got something. I got, got me a little STD. Confidential. I'm like, I can trust her. Like, she created, like, can't nobody tell me nothing about her. And then some weeks later, it's like, um, me and my cousin got into it. And she's like, oh, that's why you got a, that's why you had a, oh, baby. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, uh-uh, wait, because <laughs> who told you that? Because <laughs> I only told grandma. So then you go back to grandma, I'm like, um, yeah, um, grandma, why she, why she throw that up in my face? I, I didn't tell her that. She must have just made it up. You know you told her that. Like, why are you lying? <laughs> you know, so it got to a point to where it's like, um, me just noticing how I tell her a lot of stuff. Now the family knows what Sana is going through. And you know, over the years I'm peeping, I'm peeping, I'm peeping. I'm missing my mama as I get as I'm getting older. Um, I'm on Snapchat like mama, happy birthday, I miss you. You know, they don't know this. But me and my sisters, you know, know this. Like, um, so I just peeped a lot of stuff of how they move, how they talk about each other behind each other's back, but they love each other. But you love me, but you talking about, you know, so it just didn't make sense. As I got older, it, a lot of the stuff they were doing didn't make sense. And I wasn't messing with it. Like, it was a point in time where me and my sisters was going to run away from them. We like, yeah, we, where are we going to go? Maybe an Airbnb at this point. Like, literally. Did so you have money? <laughs> at the time, y'all was working. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. this is as we get it older. It was like, like where are we going to go now? Like, hey, y'all, we finna get a telly bro. <laughs> Like, not even old enough, just yeah. trying to leave. Like, so, yeah, just definitely notice how they was moving. I'm like, mm, mm, no, nah. And then when I turned 19, um, I mean, I was already distant because everybody knew my business. And I only told her my business. So it was kind of heartbreaking. It was like, damn, I ran away. It was just me just thinking back. I ran away. I went through all of this for this. Mm -hmm. Like, are you serious? Like, I'm dis I was disappointed in myself. Like, I wanted to give up. I'm like, nah. But then I got little sisters to fight for. I'm like, damn, I bring y'all with me. I can't just end it like yeah. that. I can't. It's, that's retarded to me. Um, And then uh, finally, like, last year of February, if I'm not mistaken, grandma got a crib this whole time. We're staying with auntie. Auntie house got, like, 10 people in it. We, but Before you go there, because mm -hmm. I see where you're going. You said something else. We got to touch before the. How'd you deal with that STD? Um, my grandma took me to the clinic to get it cleared up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what, it was. Did you know what fella? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you deal with him? Cut him off. But then I started back talking to him. I just liked the attention. Like you buy me food, you taking me around. It was just like I didn't have sex with him no more. Okay. But it definitely was like, can you buy me food? Like, can you be still be here for me, even though you hurt me? Can you still yeah. be here for me? Um, and I also just think with that, I was just, I was, I was so, I don't know, I didn't want to be alone so bad. I was willing to deal with anything y'all did to me. Like y'all talk about me, I'm gonna deal with it because I don't mm -hmm. want to be alone. I still want y'all to be in my life. Like, 
Mm-hmm. And what happened if he found out who you perceived to be your dad at the time? What happened when he found out? Um, he didn't care. He didn't say nothing. Nope. Mm. <laughs> it was around. <laughs> Everybody knew. But he didn't, hey, daughter, listen. <laughs> no, he didn't care. Did that did that uh stick out to you at any time? Like around that time? I was used to it. Yeah. He never cared. Oh. So, you know, me expecting him to come out of his way and be attentive, um, when it comes to moments like that, because I was young, I'm like, oh snap, why is my why is my stuff burning? <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's too weird. Um, I didn't expect him to finally oh, okay, this is serious. Let me yeah. talk to her with people, you know, it was so I'm like was he never around even when y'all was there? He's a deadbeat. He was hardly around. Something else stuck um, out that you said to me. You said when you was talking, uh, when you was on Snapchat with your mom, when y'all was on Snapchat with your mom, they w- they didn't know. So was they trying to, you couldn't talk to your mom or something? We couldn't talk to our mama. Um, we wasn't on Snapchat with our mama. It was more like me venting on Snapchat. Like, I miss my mama. I miss my little sister. Like... I don't got no family over here. Like, they don't, you know, um, just a bunch of memories of me just venting, wishing I never ran away. Um, during that whole time, they didn't want us talking to our mama. Uh, they fed us lies about our mama. Um, they manipulated us into, and we were young and vulnerable, especially me. Like, I was just listening to anything. Um, they just made it seem like she was just the shittiest human being. She don't love y'all. If she loved y'all, she wouldn't treat you, you know? And, and I was already looking for that, attention from my mama. That's the main person I wanted it from. So running over here and just needing something to clinch on to, we was just listening. Like, damn, my mama don't love us. Like, damn. Um, that caused us to get into it with our mom. You know, when we, when my mom was reaching out, my mama always reached out. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, she really had. Um, just sending us love and light. You know, of course, at first it was definitely like, like, what's going on? Like, why did, it, you could definitely tell she was hurt. Like, Man, like what? But at the end of the day, she always reached out to her daughters after mm. we put her through that. She always reached out. Then you got us over here like, fuck you, mama. We don't give a fuck. We love him. We don't love you. And then they in our ear like, yeah, keep going. Tell her this. We know her bitch. Tell y'all mama that. You know? So it was just like, damn. So it caused a big wreckage. Like, and it, these is grown-ups telling a teenager and preteens, talk shit to y'all mama. Cause she heard us too. Did I tell y'all that story? I'm like, so it was just a lot of hate towards our mama on that side. It was a lot of hate. They do not like her. So at the time, was you ever like, cause when you was missing your mama real hard, were you ever like, <coughs> I don't want to say this, but I feel like I got to say this yeah, type, all type the time. deal. And then feel good was a, after you said it. It probably was a couple moments where I'm like, I did. I was saying the stuff I said out of anger, cause I'm still hurt. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times it was just because we would tell them what our mama texted us. We were like, oh, yeah, our mama said, you know, how we doing? No, nah, she just trying to, no, nah, she just trying to get will y'all back in so she could do y'all to say. And I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> like, it, it got to a certain point to where it's now it's like, I think she really do miss us. Like, I don't think she trying to start nothing, but you got these people who don't like her who going to keep saying, y'all, she don't love y'all, block her, you know? I'm, like, if we would talk bad to our mama and tell them, they'd be like, I know that's right. <sighs> Can't lie. So it was just a lot of their supporting us. They they want us to hate our mama just as much as they do. But it got to a certain point to where it was just like, mm-mm, why are we doing this? <laughs> like, you know, our mama, and you just noticed the effort she kept making. Whether, you know, she, knowing she was hurt, she just kept making efforts to get in touch with us. Yeah. So it got to a point to where it's like, all right. Let's stop doing her like this, for real. Like, and yeah. Did did you and the twins ever? How often did y'all circle with each other? Just go off by yourself and just like talk about what was going on and what was they like mind state? Like, you get what I'm saying? Um, a lot. We was man. We used to talk about those people so much behind their back. Like, it even got to a point where we made it. We made group chats. Like, we miss our mama. Like, we just talked to, like, how fake they was. They talk about each other, how they live in, how they, you know. Me and my sisters talked about them. 
Like, mm-hmm. we was our safe space. After it got to a certain point, we like, yeah, come on, we're going to have our little circle. We can't talk to them no more. Mm-hmm. And that's how I felt. Like, it didn't stay like that for a minute. Um, yeah. And then the twins got, the twins were, they were the first to um, get back closer to our mama. <laughs> I was still hesitant. I still was believing the lies. I still was like, no, grandma's right. You're not, you can't take me away from grandma. You know, she put me through all this pain, but I, I need to feel loved. I don't feel like I can go back. I was still in the mindset of, I can't go back. Like, I don't know. I feel like it, it, everything is different. I done ran away from you. We done been, had our words. Like, that family probably, you know, my mama's side don't mess with me. I feel like it was just a lie. So I'm like, I'm going to stay on this side. Even though they treat me like shit, I'm going to stay. I'm going I'm to stick it out over here. But the tourists were definitely the first to go back with our mama. Like, all right, mama. We gonna fill you out, you know. We gonna get back in the groove of things. So, yeah, I didn't get back close to my mama until like last year in September. <laughs> so they they let them go. Like I hate this to sound like a prison, but they didn't like try to keep them from um, going back with your mom. Well, um, at, after a certain point, um, they let them. Of course, yeah, they let them start going with our mama. They were still hesitant. Like, why y'all trying to go with y'all mama? Like, what's going on? Y'all finna switch up on us? It was more like, pick a side. But with the twin, they was way more lenient. Like, they let them go over there, come back. I it was, it was visits. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, we still came back to that uh, they side, so. Yeah. So you leaving? You leaving the house? Um. Yeah. Uh, grandma, she got a place. She got her another her second place in like February of last year. Um, so mind you, I'm so used to sleeping on people's floors, couches. Man, I'm, t- I'm grandma. Let me stay with you. I need my own room. I'm old enough. Give me my own room. Um, she said no. Uh, she didn't want me to live with her. And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> no, you didn't. Like, girl, you know, it, I felt some type of way. I really did. Um, it made me not. It made me, like, because I don't know. Through this whole time, I was losing respect for her. Because, you know, it's weird how I tell you something confident and the whole family knows. So, of course, I'm peeping. I'm losing feelings. I'm, I'm peeping game. But um, I was tired of sleeping on the floor. I'm like, hey, can I get that room? You know, I need privacy. I'm, I'm, I'm up in age. Um, she said no. By this time, their dad, he, uh, he had got a five-bedroom. But I couldn't stay with him. Um, he tried to steal some money from me. And when I called the police on him, he was like, yeah, you can't live with me. Get this funky ass money. I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> it's my money. Like, <laughs> what? It was just so much. And so then my last option was grandma. I'm like, hey, can I please stay with you? You know he just said I can't live with him. I don't want to live. You know, no, no offense against auntie, but I'm in her son's room. They don't even got their own room. It's a two-bedroom, ten people. Come on now, like it's it's too crowded. You know, we all of us finally getting our own stuff. And you telling me I gotta sit here and still sleep in her son's bedroom? I'm not doing that. So finally convinced her. I had other people convincing her. You know, um, she finally was like, I guess, man. I guess you can. Okay. Well, at least, you know, I got somewhere to stay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. it's you you pissed me off, but I guess. Um, moved there. Um, I had Cool job, but they wasn't good money. But, you know, so um, she was going to be paying rent by herself. I'm going to give her what I can um, since I'm up in age. Um, finally started working at the post office. And she she, she started, you know, bills was late. Um, the lights finna get cut off. And it was just like, what the hell, dude? We wasn't having these problems when I was working at the zoo. You know, the, the rent was paid. The lights was on. It was food in the fridge. I work at the post office, but we ain't got no food. You telling me the lights finna get cut off in two days? Where did this come from? She was always late on bills. She kept taking my money. When she noticed I would give myself stuff, she would come off like, why are you buying you that? And it's like, oh my goodness, like stop watching my money like that. What are you doing? Um, she was just so tight with my money. It was like, um, I give I give her my portion of the rent, she spend it. I'm like, bro, wait a minute. Like, you know, so it was a situation. I came to her like, um, why did you spend the rent money? That's my motherfucking money. You can't tell me what to do. 
hey, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but like, you know, that was for rent. That wasn't for you to just blow off. You know, I said that. So you think you grown now? You think you could talk to me however you want? You think you could tell me what to do with my money? I'm like, bro. Um, like it wasn't getting nowhere. She ended up telling her daughters I was being disrespectful. I was trying to manage her money. Her daughter's texting my phone. Don't disrespect my mom. I'm like, bro, what? Is y'all talking? Like, it was just so dumb. It was just so weird. I was so fed up. Um, she was just, they just stayed gossiping, always in my business. Everybody knows Sanaya's business. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. Um, I couldn't wear certain stuff. Um, literally, I couldn't show my little body off. Like, it was just too much. I was just like, I can't live with her. <laughs> like, nah. And we stayed, ever, ever since I moved in, we stayed getting into it. Like, ever since I started that post office, we stayed getting into it about money. Because she's not responsible for her money. I'm like, girl, you know I'm trying to save for a car. You know I'm trying. You know I got stuff to do. So why is you picking in my pocket? Like, it's like every check I was fucking broke. I'm like, and the post office is good money. So I was broke every check. I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. And then when I don't give you money, you tell the family I'm being disrespectful. I don't care about you. I'm not paying rent. And it was just like, now they against me texting my phone. It was too much. So my first place, I got approved for it. I was going to move. Um, she ended up telling everybody I was moving out for boys. I'm like, well, what the fuck? You know that's not why. Like, you know, so now you got the family looking at me weird. And then she on the back end, like, Sanaa, I'm so proud of you whole time. You know, like, congratulations. If you need my help, just let me know. You can always come back home. Um, so I got approved. It was a pretty apartment. Um, but then I paid the deposit, and I was broke. So I'm like, damn, mama, damn. Like, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, I don't believe. <laughs> like, um, like, even with just trying to get loans and stuff, I just, it just, I just thought of it. I didn't have nobody to help me move. They wasn't supportive in that way. They did not want me. She did not want me to leave. So I just, I just, you know, one day at work, I'm like, yeah, I'm stuck. Like, I can't go nowhere. So I end up calling her like, all right, listen here. I'm going to give you this much for rent, and that's it. That's all. I can't do it. She made it seem like she was, oh, my God, okay. That works. I promise you I won't ask for nothing else. I come back. We still arguing. We still, it's still an issue. She's still making me feel uncomfortable. She's hitting on my guy friends and stuff. I'm like, yeah, God, why did not move? Like, literally, it was to a point to where I'm, like, I got to go or I'm a disrespect her. I got to go. Um, hitting on your guy friends in what sense? I mean, like, if I had a guy friend over, and I rarely had guy friends over. Like, of course, I'm not going to be bringing male friends into her house. I don't feel comfortable around her. Mm. It was like, she would see one of my guy friends. When I had a guy friend come over, and he had some nice lips. And she was like, yeah, you sure do got some sexy lips. I'm like, all right. I'm like, hey, don't listen to her, bro. She a cougar. Like, I stay making that joke she's a cougar. Because why are you joking? You don't joke like that with my male friends. Mm. Come on. Like, that's weird. I don't know. Um, and then it was just to a certain point to even, I just know how she is. Because even when it came to my ex that was around our family, she clinged on to him. Like, like he was supposed to do for her. Like, no, you're going to do for me. Not Tanaya. Come do for me. And it was just like, I don't like that. Like, why are you doing that? Like, I see messages in her phone. That day I see messages in her phone, her texting my ex, begging him for money. She was like, yeah, Sanaya don't want to help me. And she was just talking bad about me to him and begging for money. And she loved him. And what the world? I'm like, girl, you don't even know this. Like, what are you, like, it made me look at her in disgust because, like, what are you doing? Like, why do you feel that comfortable? Like, why? I don't, it just made me look at her so differently. So when I brought male friends around, like, I even stopped telling her about my male friends. I just didn't trust her. Like, nah, I can't trust you. Like, you too sneaky. What was his reaction to all that? He was barely texting back. Oh, okay. Leaving her on the scene. And he had texted back probably, like, it, you could tell he just wasn't messing with her. He was just like, okay. No, you cannot get no money. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just weird. It was so weird. Yeah, it was weird. And you getting to a point where you got to go again? Yeah. I, yeah. I was like, I'm fed up. Um, around this time, I'm close. Um, at this time, I'm close with my mama. Uh, me and my mama talking with you. Um, it's still a little weird, but I'm trying to be more comfortable with talking to my mama. This is my mama. 
you know, this is the opportunity, you know, I don't have, now everybody on this side done show me who they are, you know, they weird. Um, I'm close to my mama. And so, me and my mama went on a date. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going on a date with you. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, on that date, my mama was just putting me up on game when it came to a lot of stuff, whether it be spiritually, mentally. She just woke me up. I, I will never forget this day. She woke me up and broke me down to the point to where not only did I regret running away or did I regret putting her through what I put her through, but to a point to where it's like, I did all this for people who don't even give a fuck about me. Mm-hmm. It was so deep. Like, I was crying. I was like, nah, I got to I gotta fix my wrongs. Like, she woke me up, and she broke me down. And um, I clinged on to her. I'm like, yeah, this this the mama. I've been, this is the mama I've been looking for. Like, I want this. And after that, when um, the grandma just found out I was cool with my mama, she started a riot. She, she started... Um, <laughs> um, the same day, <laughs> um, I had got another place. I got approved for it and everything. I had my moving date. That was set, but I was still with the grandma crib. But she noticed I got back cool with my mama, and she started an argument out of thin air. Like, we wasn't even arguing. She just, I just heard her on the phone. She came in the house mad because um, I had walked back from a store that's literally around the corner, like I always do. But what was different was I was on the phone with my mama. So that's what made her mad. She don't care that I walked. She made us walk at nighttime. She don't care that we walked. You care that I'm on the phone with my mama. You don't like my mama. So I walk back to the crib. I'm on the phone with my mama. Um, I'm letting her know, like, yeah, why she just tried to call me a liar? woo de woo And this, like, that same day, she tried to call me a liar or whatever because I was calling my little sister some liars, and I didn't like that because, well, how am I a liar? What, do you, what you got to say? So we got into it. I walked back to her crib. Um, I'm on the phone with my mom. I'm like, yeah, she just pissed me off. Talking about I'm a liar. My mom was just like, yeah, I don't like that because what's going on? It's giving a, you know, why she feel how she feel. I get back in the house. I'm still on the phone with my mama, not hanging up. Um, she blowing my phone up. I'm saying spamming. I'm not answering. I'm not hanging up for my mama. So she called my little sister's phone. What the hell is not? Oh, she right here. Why the fuck she not answering her phone? Um, so now she said, why you not answering your phone? I'm like, tell her I'm on the phone with our mama. Um, Cause she on the phone with our mama. Oh, okay, so that's how it is. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'm not talking to her no more. Like, don't tell me nothing else she said. All right, I'm on my way. So she pull up, she come in the house. She talking big stuff. Oh, tonight on this bullshit, you doing too much. I was scared, I thought you were gonna get kidnapped and you pissing me at you. I'm like, what is you talking about? Like, then you wasn't answering my phone calls. You know I was, it was just like, I don't, she was trying to find a reason to be mad. I'm like, bro, it's not that deep. Like, my mama here the whole thing. I'm like, it's not that deep, bro. Like, so then I go in the room. I already feel uncomfortable because you tripping. Chill. You called me a liar. And you meant it. You said it with your chest. So, I, of course, I felt offended because what you mean? Who would I be lying about? So, I go in my room. She in her room. I'm still on the phone with my mama. I hear her on the phone. And, yeah, she disrespected me. I'm like, oh, my, again. So, I get up. I'm like... Um, mama, you ain't gotta be lying. Like, you ain't gotta be telling them I'm disrespectful. You know, don't lie. Oh, so you gonna talk back? I, oh my goodness. So I'm like, I'm not talking back. I'm just saying you just in there lying. Like, we, I'm not disrespecting you. Then you got my sister gagging up on me now. So now, why are you doing her like that? I'm like, <laughs> like what? What is y'all talking about? I'm like, she literally don't want me to be on the phone with our mama. I'm not hanging up. Oh, so your mama, uh, her mama probably telling her to say this, ain't she? I'm like, no, I'm just. What is there? What is she gonna tell me to say? Like, bro, you're you're tripping. So she calling everybody, telling them I'm disrespectful and I'm just man. She made it seem like I was doing her so dirty. I'm just like, mama, come get me right now. This not gonna end well. You got my sisters ganging up on me. Everybody in the house ganging up on me. Like I'm cool. My mama came and got me. Went to her house. Um, I end up texting grandma like, yeah, you can't help me move no more. I'm okay. Like she like, oh well, you can get my keys back. I'm like. Okay, then. You will get them, but after I get my stuff. So, um, for that, like, week, I stayed with my mama. Um, and then, slowly but surely, we would sneak. When Grandma was out the crib, we would sneak in, get some stuff, go back to my mama's house. Next day, see if they there, go in, get some. Like, we slowly but surely getting my stuff out of the crib. Um, in the middle of all this, I post on Facebook, you know, all the time, 
I was gone. I publicly disrespected my mama. So I feel like after all this, it's only right to publicly apologize to you. Because, you know, um, I apologized. And I was just like, you know, during that time I was away. Um, it's a couple family members I didn't like. They're manipulated. You know, they're narcissists. woo -de -woo. Um, they I didn't say no names. But they knew what was tea, so they made their own post. I had cousins. Like, she's lying. She's delusional. She moved out for a little boy. I'm like, hold on, cousin. Hold on. You got aunties. Yeah, she disrespectful. She want to be grown so bad. They're making public posts. I'm like, nah, this is crazy. It's not even that, y'all. I just wanted to say sorry to my mama and let it know that I do genuinely regret running away. So after that, I felt some type of way. Because not only that, you got people texting my phone. I'm like, again? Y'all aunties, y'all why y'all texting me? Stop texting me. Don't disrespect my mama. You ain't never got to cover her shit again. We'll come get your shit or it's going to be outside. Wait, y'all doing too much. It was just a lot at once. It was so much. Um, and it got to a point to where um, I ended up exposing everybody's business on social media. I was hurt. I'm like, oh, y'all want to play with me? Y'all want to y'all want to treat me like this? Y'all want to be fake Christians? I'm going to let everybody know how y'all live. I broke it down one by one. Grandma, auntie, cousin, cousin's daughter. And I read them. And everybody wanted to fight me after that. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, you got to fight. Yep, let's go. Meet us right here. Pull up on us, and we all going to jump you. We are going to fight you. Because why, why did you post that on social media? And me, I'm just like, <laughs> you know, I feel better. As I'm doing this, it's like I'm relieving all this energy I have built up. It's like, y'all finally can't run over me no more. That's how I felt. And it got to a point, they were spamming. They were talking about me. You had my little sisters talking about me. It was just everybody was talking about me. And it was like, damn. I don't got nobody, but my mama, you know? My mama stepped in. She, you know, talked to her stuff, stopped mm -hmm. coming at my daughter. Um, it was a lot, um, but um, it all led up to me finally moving in my first place. Let's, let's forget about the negativity. Amen. Let's forget about the negativity. Um, my mama helping me move. I'm excited. I'm like, okay, I finally got my place. I don't got to be around them. Um, they still want to fight me, but I'm living by myself. You know, I'm not worried about it. Um, we go grocery shopping. That same night, we finna go to Winwood. It's a beautiful day. Like, mine is all the BS. So, we come back from grocery shopping. Um, mind you, as we were moving, I did take grandma's TV. I did. You owe me this. For all that you put me through, all the money I spent on you, mm -hmm. you owe me this. Mm -hmm. And that's how I felt. So I did. I took the biggest TV. Oh, she was oh, she wasn't having it about that TV. Mm -hmm. So um, everything's in my place. <laughs> um, we come back from grocery shopping. As we're coming back, somebody called my phone. Mind you, everybody else is blocked. So all the little feud we had is just over with. Somebody called my phone. Where the fuck you at, bitch? My mom like, uh-uh. Uh-uh, hang up. Where, nah, where you at? Where you at? I hang up. We pull up to my place. It's my first day moving in. We getting the groceries out the car. As I'm walking up to the door, I turn back around. My mama's still getting my little sister out the car. We see hella people running across the street. It had to click for it. It had to click that it was them coming to me. Like, I had groceries in my hand. I turn around. I just see a crowd of people. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I'm like, oh, shit, mama, that's them. Like, I dropped the groceries. My mama bought a car with my little sister. It was so much. I'm, they all running up to me. I'm about to run a fade with running the outsiders. They running outsiders. I'm finna run a fade with her. As I'm about to run a fade with her because she on my face, like, then my cousins and sisters start running up like they was finna run up. I'm like, then my mama had to step in. She had to get her pepper spray. Back the fuck up. Like, you're not about to jump my daughter. Like, what's going on? My mom would calm everybody down. Like, my mama was running the adults. Like, she shut that shit down. They got their TV back. <laughs> um, <laughs> from that point, it was over with. Yeah. Like, from that point, it was over with. But also, from that point, um, I'm still thinking that's my family. So all the narrative that's being painted now, now I'm a hoe, now I'm a crackhead. I'm like, what, bro? Like, what is y'all talking? Like, it was just so hurtful at the time thinking, you know, this is my family doing this to me. Um, yeah, it just hurt it. But then it got to a point to where I was ready to move on in a sense. Like, all right, this is how y'all feel about me. I can't change it. Like, you know, so 
Everybody was blocked. The number was changed. And, yeah, life was. So, fast forward. Got a few more minutes. Fast forward. You just recently had a breakthrough that's bittersweet. <laughs> but it's, it's a break. You want to share that? Um. Yeah, so I thought it's time. Um, my mama been telling me that my sister's dad wasn't my dad, like after um, I had left from her. But, of course, I'm being manipulated. When the conversation comes up, no, my sister's dad, that's my dad. Y'all can't, you know, he a deadbeat. But that's my daddy. Who else going to be my daddy? So um, it finally came out that, you know, my real daddy is deceased, you know, um, long live my angel. But it found out my real dad was not my sister's dad. You know, so it was just crazy. And I ended up meeting my dad's family, my big sister. I didn't even know I had a big sister. I thought I was the oldest. I thought I was running shit. You know, mm. so it was just like, I got family? Like, that was my whole reaction. Like, you telling me I got family? Like, what the, what the freak? And so, yeah, it was crazy. So, like, that's not even my family. I dealt, I went through all this with these people, and they're not even my family. Yeah. And now you felt some real love and embrace quickly. <laughs> that that quickly. Yeah. But uh, you want to leave us marked out? Um. For, I just feel like um, anybody out there, um, I feel like all I have to say is, like, as long as you're trying, that's all that matters. Um, it's a lot of people that say they're trying to have a good day. They're trying to do what they got to do, or they're trying to be mentally good. But I feel like, like, as long as you're trying, that's all that matters, for real, for real. Yeah, that's it. The goal is to leave a lasting imprint on their minds and their hearts. We pray you've been indelibly marked. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> you got saved, you <laughs> Thank you. I so did. Thanks.